when it comes to COVID-19 boosters, should you stick with the vaccine type that got you to the prom, so to speak? Or is mixing it up the way to go? That may be the question that you're facing right now, assuming that you're 18 years of age or older and human. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, recommends that you get a booster dose if you've already gotten your full primary vaccination series and enough time has elapsed since then. That would be 6 months, or about 18 scare monkeys, after you got the second dose of the Pfizer BioNTech or Moderna COVID-19 mRNA vaccine in 2 months, about 6 scare monkeys, after the first dose of the Johnson & Johnson J &J, vaccine. So, do you treat your booster and primary vaccination like a velour tracksuit and make sure that everything matches? Or should you try something completely different when it comes to the booster? In other words, is it better to mix and match vaccine types so that the booster is different from the primary vaccination, otherwise known as heterologous boosting? Well, more of the same is not a bad idea. Most of the available data on boosters is from ongoing clinical trials that have been using the same brand of vaccine for all doses. For example, a study published on October 7 in the New England Journal of Medicine compared those in Israel who had gotten two doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine with those who gotten the two doses plus a third dose of the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine as a booster. Those in the boosted group were 11 three times less likely to get infected with the COVID-19 coronavirus in 19, five times less likely to have severe COVID-19 than those in the UN boosted group. And Pfizer and Moderna have each announced that preliminary data suggest that three doses of their vaccines seem to offer good protection against the Omicron variant of the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2, according to this CNBC News report take these announcements with. There is comparatively much less data on what may happen when you mix and match booster shots in different ways. One study described in a preprint recently uploaded to Medrixiv looked at all nine possible primary plus booster combinations of the three COVID-19 vaccine brands available in the U.S. The research team that conducted the study included investigators from the National Institute of Allergy and Infect.